it's obvious that you thought you were being clever or funny with this. So we're here before the court in regards to discovery. This is a joke. I can't even read the discovery that was given. It's like done with either color crayon or pencil. I, I can't read half of it. This is not in keeping with the order of the court. I would. I don't know if the court wants to have Judge Evans review this, but I I can't use this discovery. I can't even read half the words on it. Um, Fowler, I I'd ask Ms. Fowler if she has anything to say. Your Honor, I complied with the court's order. The okay, Ms. Fowler. Judge Evans ordered me to take. Ms. Fowler. Uh, Ms. Fowler. We're not even going to go there. I saw what you submitted. I don't know if you think you're being clever or funny, uh, but that's in no way, shape, or form compliance with the discovery requirements. So the order was that you were to pay $1,000 in fees unless you did comply with discovery. So you owe that $1,000 in fees. I'm putting this on in two weeks, August 1. If you have not submitted proper discovery answers, it's going to be another thousand dollars in fees. If you want to continue to play whatever game you think you are playing, just be aware it's going to cost you a bunch of money. The other thing that will probably happen is if you continue along this path, is your pleadings are going to get stricken and Mr. Reed mm -hmm. get pretty much what he wants. Mm -hmm. Is there any part of that you don't understand? The only question I have is I was ordered by the court to take pen and paper or whatever I had to write and respond to discovery. And I did. Uh, I did what I was told. As I say, I don't know if you thought you were being clever, but that is in no way, shape, or form compliance with discovery. If you can't figure out how to comply with discovery, I suggest you talk to an attorney or contact the legal aid program. But it's obvious that you thought you were being clever or funny with this. And I'm just not going to put up with it. And there's no reason Ms. Cotto should either. So well, August 1, 9 o'clock is your deadline. It's going to cost you more money if you continue to pull what you think uh, is the same stunt. Is that clear? Yes, Your Honor. It's clear to me Mr. Reed's gotten his way this entire time. That will be all. Okay. I will uh, submit an order. It looks like, and it's difficult for me to read, but Ms. Fowler has the um, confidential address program, but I can't read the PO box number. Could she please provide that on the record so that I can mail her the proposed order? What's the PO box number, ma'am? <clears throat> Only my crime and uh, domestic mm -hmm. violence card right now. Um, it is P.O. Box and six. And keep in mind, um, those are screened and the ones that are forwarded do take several weeks to get to me because it is going through a rerouting program if it passes through the screener. All right. Well, I suggest you get your discovery to Ms. Cotto's office right away. Thank you, Your Honor. I will prepare a proposed order also and have that ready for presentation on the first. All right. That Thank will... you. I found out that he was having an affair with my mother, who was also living with us. I was also involved in the relationship with Bronwyn as she lived with Noah and I for a few months before she gave, became pregnant with Noah's son. He apparently cheated on my mother with another woman in Indian River, and she was pregnant when she found out about it.